Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Radio presenters and DJs become a part of our lives, bringing us the news, entertaining us, creating controversy and making our journeys to work that bit more bearable. But they can also, despite their infamy, as shown through the case of George Webber, be the victims of murder. George Webber was born on the 23rd of March 1961 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the United States of America. He was a career radio man. At the age of 16, he began his radio career at WBUX in Doylestown, Pennsylvania, a small borough 65 miles southwest of New York with a population of 8,380. The station, at 167 on the AM dial, remains on the air. He then worked for two and a half years at WAEB, a news, talk and sports radio station in Allentown, Pennsylvania, the third largest city in Pennsylvania. While there, Weber worked as a reporter and news anchor. He then became an anchor and street reporter at KIMN, a radio station based in Denver, Colorado. Before moving to KOA as the host of a nighttime talk show. Traveling across the country, he worked at KGO in San Francisco, California, before moving to KOGO, a news radio station in San Diego, California. KRIB, San Diego, California. As well as KTLK, which is now called KEIB and is based in Los Angeles, California, as a conservative radio station. He then moved to K. MPC in Los Angeles, a commercial AM radio station broadcasting to the Korean population in Los Angeles. In the late 1990s, he moved to New York and reached the pinnacle of his career, working on the morning show providing periodic news updates on the WBAC radio station, which was then the flagship radio station for the ABC radio network. However, in February 2008, he was fired from WABC due to a lackluster financial performance in the station, as well as the long-running radio show, Imus in the Morning, hosted by Don Imus, having its own newsman, which took over the WABC morning show. Following intense contractual negotiations, in April 2008, he began doing news updates for the ABC radio network. Weber lived in Brooklyn in an apartment on Henry Street in Carroll Gardens. He was an openly gay man and owned two dogs. On Saturday, the 21st of March 2009, Weber did not show up for work and his co workers became concerned and telephoned the NYPD. On Sunday at 12.30 a.m. on the 22nd of March 2009, police did not notice anything amiss outside his Henry Street apartment and left. Police returned at 8.30 a.m. on the same day at the insistence of his ABC radio colleagues, with Weber still not showing up for work. A neighbour informed police that he had heard water running all night in Weber's apartment. The neighbour also noted seeing someone speaking on a payphone outside of the apartment building. Upon entering his apartment, Weber's corpse was found, having been stabbed more than 50 times in the neck, chest and arms with his guest bedroom ransacked. Water was still running in the apartment's bathtub and kitchen sink with investigators believing that the killer had used the water to clean themselves up. There was also no sign of forced entry. A conductor on the northbound G train said that he saw a passenger at 9.30 p.m. on the 20th of March bleeding profusely from the left hand, with the youth taken to Elmhurst Hospital Center telling police that he had cut his hand on a bottle. He was identified as 16-year-old John Katehis of Eastern Elmhurst in Queens, New York. Police became convinced looking at Weber's internet history as well as information obtained from the family of Katehis that Katehis was the killer. Katehis then fled to a friend's house in Middletown on the 24th of March before being arrested the next day. Katehis informed police that he met Weber through Craigslist with Weber posting an ad looking for rough sex and was to be paid $60. The pair had planned to meet on the 18th of March but this was delayed to the 20th of March with Katehis arriving at his apartment at around 6pm. 
Upon meeting, the two of them fought, with Katehis pulling out a knife, and once Katehis was able to get Weber on his stomach, he bound his legs with duct tape before stabbing him. Katehis said that he stabbed Weber in self-defense and identified himself as a sadist and a sadomasochist. Due to meeting Weber on Craigslist, the media dubbed Katehis as a Craigslist killer. Charged as an adult with second-degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon, Katehis pleaded not guilty with his lawyers claiming that there was an ongoing relationship between the pair and that Weber was a sexual predator. Following a mistrial, Katehis was convicted in 2011 at a retrial and sentenced to 25 years to life in prison with his claim of self-defense rejected. Katehis stated during the trial that he regretted the murder and was sorry. It was suspected that Katehis murdered Weber because he was homosexual and committed a thrill kill. The case was featured on an episode of Web of Lies which aired on Investigation Discovery. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.